Jerome over the weekend of July 16th through 18th, not only is my head exploding from getting up at four o'clock in the morning and watching these grain market moves, many of them we've called for our clients at Weather Wealth over the last uh, few weeks on changing weather forecasts and crop conditions as grain prices actually now are exploding. And we'll explain the reasons why here. First of all, from a longer term perspective, uh, this is a Turkmen agricultural fund that includes all grain ETFs going back to 2012. You can see the global droughts in Russia and the U.S. back in 2012 with La Nina. Then a global glut of crops over the last eight or nine years. There are a few droughts. And of course, we bottomed here on the charts last winter because of global demand after COVID-19 was starting to end, but also because of droughts in Russia, flooding in Iowa last August, and also the South American weather situations. And now we have really the spring wheat drought actually expanding to the east. This is the way things have actually looked over the last couple of weeks. One reason for grain volatility. We were lucky enough uh, for our clients to catch this big sell-off in corn and beans the last week or two and uh, get out near the lows on Monday on our recommendations. But notice the heat dome up across the spring wheat areas of canola regions that are major uh, exporters around the world. As of this week, look at the forecast now, how that heat dome actually moves east. This is what I've been watching for 35 years for clients around the world and really understand the psychology of a lot of these grain markets. In the short term, uh, Again, an all grain ETF, you can see uh, to the left, improved global weather in crops uh, back in June. We caught that move down. Uh, then a bullish USDA crop report and the market began to sell off uh, last week again after that because of some important Midwest rains. But look how the spring wheat drought now expanding east has really created this uh, rally in uh, prices. And I think if you look at the long term charts of this grain ETF, as long as we see hot dry weather return to the Midwest, uh, that's a good longer term strategy. Uh, one of the things uh, that we actually are predicting right now is a hot Midwestern rest of the summer that could also affect natural gas. How are we doing it? How are we telling our clients about this? Here we are with those red dots you see, actually the Western drought that's expanded a little bit further north and east over the last uh, week or so. Uh, the orange in Iowa, they got some really good rains as well as Northern Illinois this week, but the market's shrugging that off and looking ahead to those red areas over North Dakota and Montana actually uh, moving to the east. Uh, we call this a change in the weather pattern very early uh, because of the EPO index. Remember the EPO <clears throat> having to do with the Western Ridge what's going on over Alaska. Look how uh, it was negative, the bottom of your screen there the last week or two, one reason for the grain corn being collapsed last week and how it's now going positive as you go deeper into July and August. And uh, as you see that arrow on the top of your screen there uh, in the red, that means a Midwestern dome, a kind of a red, red hot, uh, high pressure dome moving in across the Midwest. Again, grains were selling off yesterday because of all these rains in the Midwest, but are now coming back on this huge dome. It's also situations with weather uh, all of a sudden going on in, in Europe. What was a great wheat crop, dozens have actually been uh, killed because of historical flooding in Germany. And this and the spring wheat chart making all time highs here pretty much uh, because of this drought, not only in North and South Dakota, but Canada, look at the red there, uh, the wheat market and spring wheat just soaring to the top of your screen there. And now you have this flooding over in Europe. So a lot to watch over the next uh, few weeks, exciting times, trading all sorts of option strategies, uh, futures, grains, uh, yeah, and also in the coffee market, we have some new information about coffee and sugar and natural gas. We hope you get a free two-week trial period to Weather Wealth. I could really help you, I think, uh, with my 35 years of experience, even in the canola market in Canada, that's actually exploding too. And we're also, again, watching coffee, sugar, and many, many markets for our clients. Uh, rains upper left of your screen there in Central America could be hurting some of the coffee harvest for Arabica. And one reason why coffee prices have actually stabilized here, as well as the Brazil crop being in bad shape. What's my longer term view for coffee? You get it all at Weather Wealth, twice a week updates at least, and uh, a lot of futures and option strategies as well. Have a very nice weekend.